Diabetic complications are really what make people with diabetes sick and actually cause them to die early. We've been able to really build a team of researchers who are all equally committed to diabetic kidney disease and diabetic neuropathy and diabetic retinopathy research to uh, really come together in a very organic way to study these complications. What we found from our research is that each of these complications is different from one another. They don't all develop uh, from the same reasons or due to the same pathways, but they do all develop because of the diabetes per se. We are developing new treatments for complications. Personalized medicine is, uh, is a new concept that has come in more recently. The idea of personalized medicine is that the, um, we have patients with diabetes, for example, uh, not everyone gets complications. Uh, the idea for us to understand is that who is more prone for complications and who is not. So our goal is to understand which person needs an appropriate medical therapy, which is the medicine part, um, and who needs to be treated more aggressively versus somebody who does not need to be treated aggressively. Our goal is to understand both the biological mechanisms behind why certain people progress towards complications and why certain people don't and identify certain biomarkers that can be clinically useful to discover um, those patients that are at a high risk for progressing. We know from our own work and that of others that actually neuropathy occurs very early in the disease. Indeed, neuropathy occur occurs before a patient has frank type 2 diabetes and occurs during the pre-diabetic stage. We think that if we can understand the specific mitochondrial dysfunction that happens at various stages of a disease time course, we think that it, we can assess the clinical stage that a patient presents at and then target that specific stage in terms of the mitochondrial dysfunction to hopefully prevent the progression of the disease. I mean, the ultimate goal is to really prevent the disease happening at all and preventing neuropathy completely. The University of Michigan is extremely unique in that there is a whole group of individuals interested in complications. So we have nephrologists, ophthalmologists, neurologists, and endocrinologists all focused on taking care of a patient with complications. I think approaching complications as a team uh, is going to really lead us to new insights on the disease. At the University of Michigan, the fact that we have experts in all uh, fields of complication of diabetes, retinopathy, nephropathy, neuropathy, allows us to uh, interact on a regular basis and gain insights into the mechanistic of the different complications, their commonalities, but also their differences, which allows us to refine our research and our interpretation of the results uh, to make progress towards uh, more specific um, therapy in, a, in the long run for the patients, which is really the main objective. It's all about curing the disease, so we want to cure diabetic retinopathy, but I think it's also important that we want to prevent it and we want to lessen the chances that someone with diabetes um, will be inflicted with diabetic retinopathy. And um, right now the treatments for diabetic retinopathy come at a kind of later stages of the disease when it's become really sight-threatening. And one of the big goals that we have studying the neurodegeneration and the inflammatory responses um, that perhaps might lead to the vascular problems um, is that those would give us an eye, an, a way to kind of prevent the disease rather than react to the later stages of the disease. So, so that's one of the things that we really want to do. Battling diabetes and its complication um, is um, pretty hard. However, I think that we have made uh, enormous progress uh, and that is due to the fact that we work as a team. We partner as a team with our research participants and our patients. Without their direct involvement in, in clinical studies, in clinical research, our uh, fight against diabetes wouldn't have been so successful. So the relationship between the, the coordinators, be they nurses or, or non-nurse coordinators, physicians, research scientists and our patients is one of truly a, a partnership. 
Um, we all bring different things, but I think an equal weight of things to the table. We could not do it without each other. We support each other. We um, very much share in a common goal. My experience here at the University of Michigan in the patient-doctor relationship is, it's first of all, it's very, very professional, but it's also very personal. And I, I sense that not only with the individuals who are heading the research programs, but also the people that are participating in them. Um, everyone seems to have a team approach. Everybody wants to be, um, so to say, on their best behavior as it relates to um, performance within the team, both on the professional and also on the patient basis. Uh, it seems to me that, that those who are involved in, in these research programs, who run them, who manage them, uh, are doing it because they really care. Uh, they have a deep personal feeling toward the patients and, and they know that their lives are, are very much depending on, uh, in some respects, how the outcome of these programs are, are, uh, are, are progressing. I'm grateful to be part of clinical trials and to be exposed to the clinical research that goes on here at the University of Michigan because I believe it introduces me to resources sooner and also keeps me very inspired as to the hope for the future. You know, where sometimes you begin to worry about the long-term challenges of the disease, you feel that changes are being made and I get to be part of those changes.